G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna to do a fun little project today. Have you guys ever seen these geode crystals? This one had, you know, another side there and they crack them open and this is what you get inside. You get these gorgeous druzy crystals. Some are big, some are small. Some are more like little druzies, others are bigger sort of crystals. So anyway, I'm going to try and make one of those today. <laughs> I am. Um, with my alum crystals. Same thing that I used to coat that rose that I did the other day. So look at that. It's just gorgeous. I mean, this would take thousands of years to make. But um, I also thought um, I'd add some food colouring or some dye to it this time because so many people have said can you colour the crystals and yes you can but because I had that iridescent rose I wanted clear crystals otherwise what's the point of having iridescent rose so anyway to kind of mimic this sort of cave I went and got this now it is a hiding hole for a little lizard or a frog or something like that I think it's just plastic of some kind. So anyway, I thought that would be a really nice little druzy cave. And I've got two so that I can do another one another time, maybe a different colour. But we'll see how we go with the first one. Put that away. So what I'm going to do is I am going to coat the inside of my little cave with some glue. Um, I'm not really wanting the crystals to be on the outside. I, I really like that kind of rocky natural look, kind of like this sort of rocky natural look. So I'm wanting the crystals just to go on the inside. So I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work, if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. So I have got some wood glue. Um, when you're doing this, because we're going to submerge this into a solution, obviously, so your glue needs to be water resistant. There's no point putting in a glue that's just going to dissolve in, in water, okay? So this one here says water resistant. So that's what I got. And it is Gorilla Wood Glue for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. <laughs> uh, wood. I mean, it says wood, but I think it'll be fine for anything else. Indoor, outdoor use. So, it doesn't say what else you can use it on, but I'm assuming it's it's okay. All right now, I wonder if it's got one of those foil things over it. No, it hasn't. Okay. Now, how's this thing work? Gosh, I don't even know. Ugh. Maybe I pull it. Oh, there we go. Pull it. <laughs> and then push it back down to lock it. Okay, there we go. I can do that. Let's do this. <laughs> you can see I'm not really good at this sort of thing, but we shall learn together. Give that a wipe. Close it again. All right, now that should be enough in there, hopefully. So I'm just going to get my little brush and I am going to put this where I want it. I'm going to go over the edges as well because I think that would look pretty. I might need to put more glue in there actually. So covering this with glue and then I'm going to get, I haven't decided yet if I just want to use the alum powder or if I want to, I'm going to need a bit more, or whether I want to get, you know those those little crystals that were at the bottom of my measuring jug when I took my rose out because those are already crystals so starting off with crystal seeds uh, like that may work better and faster than just coating the inside of this with the alum powder if you know what I mean go up here as well but I'm going to have to pick the really small crystals, otherwise they're just going to all fall out, aren't they? So I'll give that a nice amount in there so that we've got something nice and sticky for the crystals to sit on. And I should be able to just wipe, just clean that off with, with water. All right, let me go and get my crystals. So these are all crystals that I've had left over from different projects. And I want to just see if I can 
see, putting these huge ones in, it's, it's not going to work. I think I'm just going to try and sieve it and get some of the smaller crystals out. It's probably very similar to the actual powder. There's a purple one in there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll just see if I can get those smaller ones out. That will be fine. And we'll keep these. We can use those at a later date. Or if you don't want to use them again for anything else, you can just dissolve them again in boiling water. So that's not a problem. You can do that too. All right. Um, now, this is going to be relatively messy, isn't it? <laughs> Trying to get these in here. And then I won't be able to use this until tomorrow. I'm going to have to put it aside. Until tomorrow. Just basically, I want to coat that whole thing, push them down a bit, want them to stick in there really well, and sides as well. Okay, I think that's about it. Give it a light little tap there. And uh, I think we're good to go. So hopefully all these crystals will grow. Now, like I said, I have to put this aside for, I think this said, what did it say? Um, allow bond to dry for 24 hours. So I'm going to leave it for tomorrow. I'd hate for them all just to fall off. The other thing, when you're, when you're mixing up your solution, and I'm going to do the, the same solution as I did with the rose and I'll tell you that recipe when I get to that stage you can't put this in hot water because what's going to happen to all these crystals if you put them in hot water they're going to dissolve so we're going to have to put them in um, room temperature water but that will be tomorrow's job so I'll just put that to the side I will use these again and I'll just put that in there and then actually I'll just put this whole thing away. Okay, so that's it. That's all we're doing for today. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Righto, it has been mm, maybe 9 or 10 hours, I think. It's almost 6 p.m. and I coated this uh, this morning. Look, I think it feels dry to me, so I'm just, I'm just going to go with it <laughs> because um, I wanted to sort of grow overnight so that when I wake up I can say yeah I've got something you know yeah you know the excitement of when you wake up in the morning and there's something to unmold or something exciting to see so I am going to put I'm going to use this little um I think it's like a plant pot type thing glass so I'm going to use that because I think it'll fit nicely into that so into my jug here I'm going to put 800 millilitres of boiling water. My kettle's just come to the boil. And I need to have a look down the bottom here and, oh, I'm still under the line. It's hard to tell, isn't it? You've got to get right down next to it and look. Look to see where your water is, if it's on the line, below the line, above the line. So 800 millilitres of water. So for every 200 millilitres of water, it's about 90 grams. I guess you could go to 100. So it's half 200 and 100. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm just sticking with my 90. So I'm going to put that on there. So basically, oops, we're on pounds. I want to get to grams. There we go. And zero it. So for 200 milliliters. Um, it's 90 grams, so we're timesing this by four. So I'm going to add the alum powder, alum salts. Salts. It is aluminium potassium sulfate or aluminium potassium sulfate, alum. So that's it there. So I am going to add 360 grams. I'm just going to move this out of the way for a minute so that you can see what I'm doing. 
360 grams. And then my water has already cooled. It's probably not at boiling anymore. It's cooled as soon as it went into the jug. And then when I add this cold crystal powder, it's going to reduce again. So I am going to have to microwave it. So 360 grams we need. 50, 100. You go through the alum powder quite quickly. You really do. Um, it's a good idea to, to save some of your solution. Like you can use it again. 250. Because I mean it's relatively expensive. I bought this on eBay. I think it was about $70 for two and a half kilos I think from memory something like that okay there we go I've added the spoon now so it weighs more but roughly 360 grams of that okay so now I am going to stir that up and uh, yeah, like I said, it's not going to all dissolve because the water is no longer at a boiling temperature. Be careful I don't overflow it. <laughs> but I do want this to be, it's probably, I've probably actually got a bit more than what I need for in there. So maybe I can do something else as well. But anyway, we'll stir this. You can see it's still quite crystally on the bottom. So I'll stir it for another minute or so and then I'm going to take it into the kitchen and I'm going to microwave it for another minute, bring it back up to the boil and uh, dissolve everything and then um, I will be back. Before I go, I wanted to tell you something else that I have learnt because I've watched these videos of people doing this and they don't measure, they just add... They get their boiling water or their hot water. Some people say you just need hot water. And then they just keep adding the alum, adding the alum. And they said, just keep stirring until it's all gone. Um, and they said there'll be a little bit left on the bottom. Um, you know, a little bit of undissolved alum on the bottom of the jug. And when that happens, then you can stop. You know, you've got, it, you've got enough. It's super saturated. Um, but for me, I found if I don't dissolve it all, and there's a layer of crystal on the bottom, those crystals will um, grab the other crystals from the solution and they will grow. And I don't want that to happen. I want these crystals to grow. So that's why I am going to totally dissolve it. Okay? Totally. So it's, look, it's almost there, but I'm just going to need to microwave that for a minute. Right, so that had two minutes in the microwave to be able to totally dissolve it. So it's nice and clear. You can see the sticker on the bottom of the jug there. And um, I want to put some purple in because I want to make it look like an amethyst, an amethyst cave if I can. Now, we are not going to pop that in when the water is hot because what's going to happen is all these little crystals that... I have been waiting so patiently for them to stick and to stay in place. If I had to put that in there now, they would just all dissolve like sugar in a hot coffee. So I have to wait very patiently. Again, crystal making is, you just have to wait so much. Um, so I'm probably going to have to take oh, maybe two hours, hour and a half, two hours for this hot, hot water to come down to room temperature uh, for me to be able to put that in. So we'll move those to the side. Look what I've got. I have got some purple dye. So I know that alcohol inks and things like that probably aren't the best thing to put in here because of, you know, the alcohol. But I'm, I'm hoping that this will be okay. We'll find out together. So you can dye, you know, cotton, wool, nylon, things like that. So, yeah, I'm hoping that that's going to to work. And I don't know how much to to add, but let's just start doing this just a little bit and we'll see what happens <laughs> move that out of the way I don't want to knock that I got three different colors I got purple I got a pale pink and I got a pale sort of turquoisey color aqua so can do different things 
This one I want it to be quite dark. Um, you'll find that the crystal won't absorb um, like too much of the colour. So if you want the crystal to be really dark, you need to make your water darker than what you're wanting your crystal to look like. So if you're wanting your crystal to look like this purple, that sort of shade, you need to add more. That's, and I don't know, I'm just, this is just what I've learnt from um, YouTube. So I teach on YouTube and I also learn on YouTube. Let's just, we'll just do all that. Okay, there we go. Let's put that on back on there. So yeah, I, I got these on, um, got these from Amazon. Uh, I'll, I'll link it for you and hopefully it'll work. So that's looking really dark now. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So yeah, now we just have to wait. So um, yeah, I will, what's the time? It's about six o'clock. Better go and start dinner. And I'll come back to it. I'll set my alarm for 7.30. So as it starts to cool, we are going to get some crystallization happening because, you know, the, the, um, the solution wants to create like a homeo status type of effect. So the crystals that are in the water at the moment, as the water cools, the crystals will want to drop out so and it does that by osmosis it wants to balance so if there's crystals in the water and there's crystals on the base of the jug it wants to equal out so it, it does that through osmosis so that's kind of the science behind how it's going to work it all wants to be equal through homeostasis so we'll just let that cool i better go and rinse that and uh, i'll see you in about an hour and a half i guess Right, it is 8 p.m., so it's been two hours. It's taken a long time to cool down, and we're starting to get crystal growth. So um, I'm going to going to do it. You know, I should just put that in there, shouldn't I, rather than transfer it into that. It's probably a better idea. <laughs> No, no, I'm just going to disrupt everything, aren't I, if I pour it into this one. Because oh, I can see I've got... Um... Oh, look, I'm just going to leave it. Is it going to be deep enough, though? <gasps> That's the thing. It might not be deep enough. That's a bit deeper. All right, let's, let's do it. I'll pour that into there. Oh, my gosh, I'm making a mess. And look, I've got some seed crystals. I already have seed crystals. Woohoo! Look at that. Cool. All right. Um, well, we don't need those. Hopefully, there's still enough alum in there. Let's pop that in. Gosh, I hope it's deep enough. Oh my gosh, it's not deep enough. <gasps> All right. It's going to lie down. <laughs> it's going to lie down. I can't see what's going on in there. Let me just move it into the middle. All right. It's still warm. Like, it's still warmer than my, my body temperature is. So, let's move that off to the side. And I am going to... I'm just going to cover it with a piece of paper towel like that. And I'm going to write... I've got alum written on there. I'm just going to put that on top as well. Because I've got one over there that's got ADP in it. <laughs> It's got um, phosphorus, and this is phosphate, I should say, and this is sulfate. I'm, I'm learning the difference between the two. That's another video. But let's have a look at this. See if we've got a little seed crystal I can use here. There's a seed crystal. The alum grows in, it's like a pyramid with steps in it. So that would make a nice seed crystal. This has happened in two hours, you guys. Two hours. See, the, the, it's a toss-up between, like, all this crystal, all this, should have been attaching itself into my geode shell that I've got. But if I'd put it in any earlier, when the water was still hot... 
it would have dissolved all of those crystals that are in there, you see. And um, it's unlikely that it's going to want to cling to the inside of the plastic because it's just so smooth. But look, I've got, oh, that's a pretty one. That one actually didn't grow like it normally does in the steps. That one's, I might use that as a seed crystal. We'll keep those two. What else have we got? Some of them will just kind of break apart like that. And a lot of them are just really tiny little little pieces but you, you can sort of feel when you've got a bigger piece oh no it's gone too what about this one <laughs> it's like it's like wet sand <laughs> okay so that one's that one's quite nice as well so I've got three there I've got three seed crystals now the rest of it I know it's purple but the rest of it can actually you can just dry it out and put it back in with your um, your alum crystals. I, I probably wouldn't put it back in with the white ones though. Maybe keep a separate a separate one. Anyway, we'll just leave that there. Um, actually, you know what we can do? If if this works and we start getting some big crystals in it. <laughs> what was I saying? I had to put the Video on pause while my husband came in, made the dogs bark. It's bin night, so he's emptying the bins. Oh, gosh. I wait two hours to do the video, and then at that exact time, he's got to empty the bins. You guys know what it's like, don't you? Yep. Okay, so what was I saying? These crystals. If these are working really nicely in my little geode here, um, and maybe the growth has slowed down a little bit and I may need to mix up a little bit more solution with some more alum. So I would then use these again and do, um, I think what, what's a better idea, what I found works really well, is instead of emptying out all the solution that's in there, I would make up another solution. So I would do another 200 milliliters um, and add another 90 grams of alum. And this would be part of the 90 grams. So I'm not going to waste it. That way it's still purple. Do you know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> all right. Um, we'll just leave that now. And um, I'll do something with these little seed crystals at another date. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow and hopefully this will have grown some crystals. Okay, you guys, it is the next day. It's pretty early in the morning. It's 7.30 and um, I've come out to the studio to see what's going on. Um, not sure what this, I don't know if that's like black in there, those patches or whether they just haven't got crystals on them, but to me they look black anyway i can see some crystals along the edge of this heidi cave so let's get it out and see what it looks like and if i'm not happy with the amount of crystals that are on it um i'll just mix up another batch of solution and uh yeah we'll go again now i'm just gonna pop that there so that I can bring it out and it, it can drip on that. Oh, ah, it's stuck to the bottom. Oh, there we go. It wasn't, wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I'll give it a bit of a shake. Oh, look, this. Oh, you probably can't see. There's little black bits coming off. Oh, gosh, it's heavy. Oh, wow. I might have just broken that off, actually, when I, when I lifted it up. Oh, my gosh. They are so, so delicate. Oh, my Gosh, there's crystals on the back. <gasps> I th yeah, I think I did. As I as I was loosening it, I've knocked that. Oh my gosh. I, I actually didn't want crystals on the back. Look at that. Yeah, I didn't want the crystals on the back. I wanted it to um, stay rocky like that. But yeah, now that they're there, I kind of like them. But look, it's easy enough just to rub off the ones that you don't want 
because I, I, I actually wanted it to look, you know, rocky on the back and then crystally on the front. So I'll just take some of these off. And while the crystals are still, you know, wet, um, they're, they're very, they're very, very delicate. And you can see, you can just pick them away. So you've got to be so, so careful. Um, yeah, I, I knocked the corner off, but I think that's when I was trying to loosen it. I must remember to be more careful. After it's been, after it's dried and it's like been sitting out for a day or so, um, I'm doing it again, then the crystals become much more stable. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to, oh, I don't know how to hold it. I actually might, um, I might keep some of these. I actually might just glue. I know it sounds terrible, but I might just... Because I don't know if I want to put it back in. I, I think I'm happy with these crystals. But see how there's some loose ones in here. Well, actually, they're probably not loose. They're, um, they're growing a second layer in there. But I'm just going to sort of take some of those out. I don't really want a second layer. I like them all to be... Actually, probably don't look too bad. They, to me, they look a different colour because they're, they're kind of sitting on top of the original layer of crystals. Oh, gosh. See, see here? I'm getting a, a second little layer growing on top. Let's pick those off. I guess they were starting to... I don't know whether they were starting to go bigger or just a second layer on top. Sometimes you get a crystal layer on top of your water and then that drops down and it sort of sits inside. And, oh my gosh, oh gosh, all right. <laughs> I'm going to have to be so careful. I do want to just get some of this off the back here though. I don't know how to hold it to get that off the back. Can you see the side there? So much crystallization going on. Did I just knock some more off it? Oh gosh. So I'll show you the other side. Look at that. You know what? You know what I might do? I might just um, mix up another solution and uh, and put it back in and put it back in because I've I've ruined this now. I mean, I could stick them back on, but it's not going to look the same. Really happy with the growth on that. Can you believe that was just overnight? Just overnight. Okay, so now I've got something I can hold on to here. And I'm just going to try and get a little bit more of these off. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get back on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. You can see how delicate they are. Get back on. Oh, no. All right. Let's mix up another another solution, and uh, obviously I'm going to have to be much much more careful with it. But uh, you know, I'm I'm still learning. I am by no way an expert. I've watched a few YouTube videos, as we do when we're learning things. Um, so next time, I will be much more careful getting it out of the jar, and I probably won't fiddle with it. Because, I mean, I can, I can probably pull these crystals off later on. I don't have to do it right this minute, do I? No. All right. Oh, my gosh. Let's just put that aside for a minute, like so. And you know when, um, <clears throat> you, know when you see, it, like, the inside of a geode, and it's not just smooth and level in there. You know, you've got little bits that stick up and little bits that go sort of go down, and it's probably more of the look that I'm after so I will put it back in these little ones in here were trying to grow again look at the sparkle it's so pretty but yeah I've, um, I've ruined this bit here all right let me make up another another solution so what I'm going to do what I'm going to do what am I going to do I am going to use 
I'm going to use this water again. And I don't know exactly. I think that those little black dots must be from the dye. Must be, but like it hasn't affected the actual crystals. I'm going to pour that back in there. <clears throat> and I'm going to have to just estimate how much alum I'm going to need to put into that. And I am going to have to make it. Oh, no, I probably won't because I'll just lie this down again. But look at all the crystals in the bowl. Look at all of that. That is cool. Ow. <laughs> Don't pick them off with your, with your nails. Okay, they're stuck. <laughs> Look at that. Um, I will show you d down the track a video on how to um, use this technique where you're growing the crystals you know, onto glass and then um, pouring silicone on and making our own little druzy discs. That video will be coming up as well. It's a similar sort of technique to what you're doing here because you know the crystals stick on the sides now to get these out um, you can either just sort of leave them in there and they'll they'll dry and then you can rub them off or you can put a little bit of hot water in there and just kind of loosen them so um, I am going to have a look so how much water have we got here we have got about Mm, 750 millilitres of water left in there. Um, so I, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I need to go and get my alum crystals. I'm just going to use a spoon just to um, scrape these off the side because I want to use this as my next crystal well you know alum solution that goes back in there so basically what I want to do is I want to put that actually let's do it this way put that onto there so I've started off, yesterday I started off with 800 millilitres of water and with my notes I added 360 grams of alum. So what I'll do is now I will weigh, I'll weigh this alum and this alum, this was from yesterday as well weigh all of that and um, basically that'll tell me how much more of this powder I need to add to this powder to get to around about the 360 gram mark does that make sense I mean you could you could just you know add more in here and just wing it and and hope it works but I'm going to try and be a little bit more scientific than that so, oh, there's a nice little crystal in there, little seed crystal. Okay, here we go. I've got a double layer of paper towel, so hopefully it won't all collapse on me. Let's see what, oh gosh, I'm in ounces. Uh, about 220 grams, that is. And I need, I need 360 but I'm going to say there's still some left in there, so we'll say that's 320 and that's 220. So I'm going to add an extra 100 grams, roughly. And that's that's my little calculations. <laughs> 100 grams extra I need. Um, taking into account that there's also some on my little hidey hole thingy there. There's also crystals on there. But um, yeah, about 100 grams I'm going to add. I think that would be about a good amount. Pop that back on. 
and look you, you know you, like I said you don't have to be as scientific as me I'm just trying to follow a recipe because I like I like recipes and if I find something that works then you know I can I can follow it I can do it again so 100 grams Sixty-five, ninety-seven. Okay, it's about one hundred and ten. That's fine. That should be fine. All right. So now I need to do the same thing as I did yesterday. I need to take this into the other room and I need to microwave it. I'm going to put it on high for about five minutes. And uh, come back. And hopefully it will be all dissolved. And then I'm going to have to wait for about uh, an hour or so for it to cool down enough for me to put this back in. Gosh, it's heavy. Without it um, dissolving all these crystals that we've just formed. Stop picking, woman. Stop picking. Okay, stop. Stop picking. All right. So I've got some. I oh know. I can't help myself. Can't help myself. Bad habits. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Anyway. Um, yeah, disappointed about these two little areas here. I will have to be much more careful next time taking these out. But yeah, there's no reason why I can't just pick off the crystals of this rock on the back um, at a later stage. I don't have to do it when the crystals are so soft and delicate. Okay. I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. All right, I'm going to go and heat this up. Um, and then I'm going to come back to you in like an hour or so when this is ready to put back in. All right, so I think it is um, cool enough. It's probably about an hour. And I'm going to pour this back in there. These little bits of colour, like I'm just doing my head in. I think it's from the dye. Look at that. And here am I thinking the dye was a good idea. <laughs> it probably wasn't. It's just, it's like it's separating. I've already got some crystals forming on the bottom. Oh, cool. Seed crystals! Woohoo! I don't like the way that these grow though. Like tetrahedral. Tetrahedral? Tetrahedral. Something like that. It's called something like that. These little crystals. Anyway, we'll take them out. Oh my gosh, I hope I haven't stained my plastic jug. Now let's put this back in carefully, carefully. Maybe I'll just hold it here where I've already ruined the crystals. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> my hand's not going to fit in there. I'm going to have to do it this way. Okay, there we go. Ah, my fingers aren't long enough. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I just had to drop it the last little inch. Okay, so I'm going to cover this now with um, another container. I'm going to cover it like that with another container. And I am going to put a blanket over it. Move everything out of the way. I want to try and let it cool down slowly. I'm going to have to get myself um, an insulated bag. But for now, I'm just going to do this. There we go. Tuck you in sleep tight and um, we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> and I'll try not to break any more of your little crystals off okay all right I'm gonna turn my air conditioner off try and keep the room as warm as possible and hopefully we'll have um, nice controlled growth at a warmer temperature because if it cools down too fast you don't get really nice crystals and they really they're really delicate and they just break so we'll try this way okay See you guys tomorrow. It has been another 24 hours. 
and uh, I'm going to get it out. I can see a lot of that dye over the top there. I hope it was a good choice buying the dye because I bought three of them. And they weren't all that cheap because they were you know, big bottles. I'm just trying to figure out where the top is. I think the top's there. Now I'm going to be really, really careful this time not to break anything off. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to have to do it. Um... Okay, it was a bit stuck to the bottom. How am I going to do this without breaking anything? Oh, oh it's so heavy. So, is it going to fit? <gasps> Just look, it's touching each side. Oh my gosh. <gasps> look at it. Oh, wow. All right. Now that water has done its job. I've got lots of little crystals hanging around the side of that. Okay, so straight away I can see there's little bits that I don't want. See, you know how I tell you there's little bits that just sort of start growing on the sides or on the top? Um, I think that's because the um, bits of, I'm going to call them salt crystals. It's, it's salt in a way. They kind of grow on the top and they drop down into it. And I don't like those. So, I'll we'll just very, very carefully. I'm not going to touch the bottoms. Look, the bottoms have grown over. Yay. I'm just going to take off some of these. Just while it's still soft. Otherwise, they will, um, it gets quite hard. Now, you can see the difference between these little, little tiny ones here that just kind of scrape off easily. And the ones underneath it, which are now a, a really good size. So I'm just going to take these little loose ones off. They should just break away. Like so. Oh, that one as well. I don't want that one there. Because I want my cave. Wow, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. I'm going to be just... So careful with it though. I think I'll, I won't use my finger. I'm going to use a, let's get a brush in there and brush these loose ones off. Like so. There's a few little loose ones here as well. You can see they're like, they're a different color. See if they want to break off. Yes, they do. See that? You can see. You can see what I mean. They, they are like a different, a different color. They're a little lighter. They're just sort of sitting on top, easy to break off. Now there's only just one, this little one bit, one bit here. Now I'm really worried about this bit here on the edge. I think I'm going to leave it because that's where I knocked it off last time. See oh, that bit there. It's kind of flat. It must have been touching. Mm, I don't know. It must have been touching the side. Maybe I can do it very, very slowly. One just fell on the floor. Okay, that feels quite firm there. Let's leave that. Okay, they feel quite firm. I'll just knock these last few little ones off the side. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another bit there. I didn't see that one. You can give it a slight little tap like that. And if it falls apart, then, you know, it's not meant to be there. And if it stays, then it's it's quite solid and, and staying there. Oh, look at it, you guys. Oh, no, there it does want to come off. Just with a little brush. Now, I'm not going to do anything to the back right now. <laughs> uh, it, it may stay crystallized like that. It may stay. Um, let's, I'll try very carefully to turn it over very carefully I don't want to knock these bottoms again I'm still not sure about this one here because see how it looks it kind of looks added on there you know oh. let's see Very carefully, because that, that's where um, that's where I lost my other crystals from. 
And I told you I wasn't going to fiddle. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. That's okay. They're, they're the loose ones. <gasps> Phew. Phew. Now, the, the bigger sort of thicker crystals underneath are much more, much more solid. Um, they're, they're sticking on much better. Can't help myself, can I? No, I'll leave those ones. But that bit there was kind of loose on top. There is one little bit of loose here. You know I'm a fiddler. I can't help myself. All right, so I'm going to leave that now. I'm happy with that. I've got all the loose bits off. There might be a little bit more loose just up here. This bit in here looks a bit different. Anyway, um, but look at the size of the crystals now. See, have, they have grown so much more. Now, you could, if you wanted to, put it back in the solution. Um, I'm not because I'm going to lose my cave. I think if I take any more off, I'm going to lose the, the cave look. Um, and it's just going to kind of close over. But look at the other side. There's the bottom. Wow. And then there's, there's the back. So there's this loose bit here. I can see it straight away. We'll just get rid of this. This little, little fluffy bits like that. And you can see the difference between that and real, real crystals. So, yeah, I think that's that's how it's going to stay. I'm not going to take any more, peel any more off the back, but like I did last time, I'm just taking those little fuzzy bits off. Oh, it is so pretty. It's so heavy. I should weigh it for you. I'm just trying to show you the other side now, being really, really careful. Where's the other side? Look at that. We have got some incredible crystals there. And I'm happy with the size. I, I don't want them any bigger. I think any bigger on a small piece like this would just be too much. Oh my gosh. Shall we weigh it? Actually, no, I don't want to put it down. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to leave it alone. I'm not going to fiddle. I'm going to not fiddle. I'm going to try not to fiddle. Uh, I am going to let it dry overnight. It's a little loose one in there. I'll get it once it, once it's dried. It, it'll they kind of come out a little bit better. Once it has dried, how am I going to sit it down? I could put it on this little bit of rock <laughs> that's showing. There's only a tiny bit of rock that's left showing. I'm going to put it down like that. Oh, this is so exciting. And um, I'm going to let it dry. Tomorrow, once it's had a good 24 hours to dry out, because it's not just the crystals that need to dry. You know, it needs to, I guess the glue underneath will be wet. Um, you know, the plastic backing will be wet. So anyway, we'll give it a good 24 hours to dry out. And then give it a couple of really light coats with some clear varnish. I've got these two. Helma Crystal Coat Gloss Varnish and I've got Dulux Duramax Gloss Clear Coat. And yeah, they've got the ball in them. You may have to shake them for a few minutes. Um, I put them in a pizza tray <laughs> and uh, take it outside. Don't do this inside guys. They're way, way too they smell really bad and they're really not good for you to breathe in. So do it outside, wear a little mask, give it a really light spray, turn it around, give it another little light spray. Really light because you don't want drip marks, okay? Uh, let that dry for half an hour or an hour, whatever it says on the on the back of the um, can and uh, do, it, do it again. Um, that's just going to protect your crystals so, because it's it's like a salt. So sometimes uh, when it dries, the salt may come to the surface and you get that like crusty film. You can see it on my fingers sometimes. I get that white powder on and you don't want that. So it protects them. It helps to sort of stick them all together as well. So, yeah, make sure that you do that afterwards. Oh, I cannot believe how pretty this is. And there's my inspiration piece. I like my crystals better. <laughs> there's one big crystal in there. But all the others are really quite small. You call them druzy crystals. 
matrix anyway there's 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 the inspiration and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video I will um, do a little I'll take it over to and I'll take it outside actually and just do a short little video for you and let me know what you think of it and let me know if you're a crystal an expert crystal grower if you have any hints for me if you saw me go wrong I know I went wrong a couple of places but if you've got any hints I would love to hear from you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you all again for the next video real soon. I've got some more ideas of things that I want to do. So, yeah, that will be coming up really soon. Bye for now.